afternoon. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern Sunday, June 17th, 2018. In thinking about our progression on this planet and leaving the dark and progressing into the light and And even though you see things with your eyes that appear to be conflict and people running around acting crazy and, you know, shadowy activities and manipulation, things that you see that you don't really care for, that have you noticed that you don't feel it, it's it's not an interest. It isn't a. Uh, it shouldn't you don't care to pay attention to it. It's a, a process of uh, basically negating all of the garbage and refuse that the dark have perpetuated on this planet, and uh, which is being cleaned out and eliminated, unbeknownst to many, because of what they see and what they're reviewing around them, surrounding them all over the place, is the opposite. So the, the doom and gloom again, the, the, the pulling down of people, um, the, the suffering. And see, that's when we need to rise higher in our vibrational frequencies to be able to understand that the love that is absolutely saturating the planet and all life is relentless and that's all there is, is love. There's nothing else. And when you start to reduce things and, and eliminate a lot of factors and through our lives and you start realizing that this whole existence is about love. It, it is, it's literally about love. Um, and then when you look at the planet and humanity, and, you know, when you get angry or aggressive at times, or you get frustrated or uh, disenchanted, or, you know, whatever the feelings, the depression, uh, that type of thing, that, that brings you down, and it causes feel, emotions to, to generate and to come out and to cause um, unnecessary feelings, conflicts, anger, frustration, irritation, those types of things that we all experience. I mean, it's nothing, it's not a secret. So knowing that as the light shines and as the love saturates, the dark becomes agitated because they can either join the light or they can fight it. Fighting it's futile, absolutely futile. So when we're transitioning here, as we're doing on this planet, everything seems to be in disarray. Everything seems to be disorganized. Uh, you know, the, 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 the um, uh, impending doom and gloom and the destruction of everything and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And like I have said in the past, we have the ability, each and every one of us, to rise ourselves up and to uh, pull or bring our God self to the surface, our higher self. And the higher self looks at everything from a perspective of love, uh, unending deep love, everything. Forgiveness for everything. Forgiveness for all that there is that has been destructive. Forgiveness. We forgive. And if you've noticed in your lives that through the, through the times that, you know, some of us carry grudges for a long time, some of us carry anger for a long time, some of us carry unnecessary baggage for a very long time with us in this life. And making peace with that and forgiving, even saying, I forgive myself is very impactful 
and most people don't think about that, forgiving themselves. Where they're, you're in contemplative state, you're in peace, and you, from your heart, through your higher self, say that you are forgiven, you forgive yourself, genuinely. From anything that you feel guilty about, or, or, or frustrated about, or anxiety about, or anything that in your life that you have done or acted out that you feel you could have done better, or you feel you shouldn't have done it, you, you definitely turn to yourself. You say, first, you start with forgiving yourself, and then allowing yourself to forgive all out there. Forgive it all, period. And that energy uplifts the whole balance of energy on the planet by forgiving and letting the love flow. Sometimes we, we block the love through anger, frustration, um, you know, disgust, whatever the emotions that come out that cause us to come out and become cantankerous and, and aggressive. And we all know that these feelings are not good. We all have experienced them. They, they take a while to recover from. And we're just not balanced emitting those emotions. We're not balanced. So we fix them. And we fix them by going inside, forgiving ourselves. Genuinely, it's not like saying, oh, I'm forgiven. But it's going inside yourself, like in this meditation, and saying, I'm forgiven. I forgive myself for all and everything that I have ever done or thought of doing that wasn't good. That wasn't for love and caring of each other, caring for ourselves and each other. Because that's where the human race is headed. Doesn't matter what's being said or done out there. Does not matter. It what matters is is that we are we are elevating and you can feel it. We are elevating the human race all life on this planet and the planet herself to a level of benevolence and peace and eternal love. That's it. So when you look at eternal love, you start to realize that uh, and, and it's, it involves love and forgiving. First you forgive and then you send out the love. The love motivates the forgiveness. So this meditation, I guess you could call it uh, uh, forgiveness and love meditation and it's important that humanity em emula emulates it. it it puts it off uh, sends it out on a continual basis of genuine love for all of us for each other for the planet for all of humanity no matter what they've done no matter what they do doesn't make any difference it is forgiveness and love on a continual basis. And, you know, we're raised a certain way. We are jammed full of negatives and falsities and uh, misdirection and misguidance. We're, we're educated on lies. And so we're taken on these paths that become confusing at times because of the fact that we are not... Um, we, we aren't on a truthful path, but we don't know. We think we are, but we're not. So forgiving and love, you forgive, you basically clean the slate. You fill everything with eternal love and saturate it on a continual, repetitive basis. And when you're looking at somebody at a store or there's someone that might be irritating, you just beam that love to them. You don't have to do anything else. You just beam it. And some people say, well, that sounds really strange or that, you know, that's kind of weird. No, just beam the love. Humanity has got to get into the form of love for all and all that there is. All that there ever will be, all that there ever has been. A eternal love for ourselves, for each other, for ourselves, loving ourselves and for everything and everyone. So if you would, go to a place where you're not going to be interrupted, which you're probably already there. And you want to empty your mind that's full
bottle of chatter and things that have accumulated since waking this morning. And we all have that accumulation, whether it's conscious or subconscious. And we want to dump that out. It's like, you know, your pockets, you dump your pockets, you dump your mind. You, you got a bucket full of stuff, which is your mind, you dump it out. You empty it. You find peace. And to vaporize and send it off to the central sun. And then you want to relax the body the best you can. You want to just relax it. Alleviate the stress. Take the stress off. Have it go and vaporize, sent back to the central sun. You don't have no need for it whatsoever. We have no need for stress. None of us do. And then what you want to do is you want to inhale, hold for a couple of seconds, 1,001, 1,002, and you want to take in divine positive energy. You're taking in eternal love. You're taking in prosperity. You're taking in perfect health, happiness, joy. You're taking in bliss. And it's all being breathed in to saturate your very existence. And you breathe that in, you hold it for a couple of seconds, 1001, 1002, and as you exhale through the mouth, you're letting go of all the negatives, all the crap, all the goop, and it's being vaporized off and is sent back to the central sun. You have no need for anything that's going to cause you to be at dis-ease and to be unsettled and to be unhappy. You don't have a need for it. It's just not necessary to expend your energy on it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to call upon all of love Oh, we invite them as long as they're of love and in love. Of love, created of love. Prime source, creator, God. And that's all of the archangels, cherubim, the seraphim, the ascended masters, the sprites, the fairies, and the loved ones that have passed. We invite them in. As long as they're of love, they're welcome. They come in. We can feel them rush in by us and with us. And they are with us. Now we are all protected by the purple transmuting flame, the uh, golden white pink light of Prime Source Creator God, eternal love, and this fear that encases us can only be penetrated by God's love. Period. So we're all encapsulated and protected. Anything negative that comes at us, purple transmuting flame transmutes into neutralized substance or reverses it to pure love. Period. So we're all protected. Now we all float up, arm in arm, in communication with our higher selves, our God sparks. We float up, arm in arm. We see the meditative sphere that we uh, built out of the golden white pink light, Prime Source Creator God's eternal love that houses all the meditations that we've accumulated since February 12th of this year, which is a lot of meditations. We see the golden white pink lights reflecting and sparkling and filling us, saturating us with love. We go into our vortex, we see the, we, we enter the peace and deep within our hearts that we have entered. We enter that, we enter our vortex of the golden white pink light. We all look around, we see and feel and are saturated with God's eternal love. We have joined our higher selves. We are now above the planet, arm in arm. And we begin the saturation. We become saturated, soaked interior, inside and out with forgiveness. We have forgiven 
ourselves. Deeply forgiven ourselves. We forgive all. Once we forgive, the love flows unabated. So first you forgive, and then you send the love out. So first you forgive yourself. Love flows, the eternal love, God's love, our love for our higher selves, our God sparks. You feel it saturating your body from head to toe. You can feel it permeating, vibrating. And ease settles over you. All of life on the planet, all humanity, all beings on planet Earth, all vibrational frequencies are forgiven. And they receive our eternal love sent by our higher self, our God selves, to them, to each other, and to them. You can see it being sent. You can see this beautiful light, golden white, pink light, and you can see the rain saturating all that there is, all that there ever has been and all that there ever will be, just saturating it. You picture that, you feel it, you see it. You feel it with your heart, you see it with your mind. You're in control. I'll join in the meditation, I'll be back to wrap up.